Hello everyone, I'm Darren Waldrop, and I'll be talking about ethics and ethics in artificial intelligence and emerging technologies. I'm a student at Bellevue University studying a Master of Cybersecurity. Ethics, artificial intelligence, and emerging and upcoming technologies are all topics in today's society that are being discussed on a day-to-day -day basis, whether or not it's talking about pure ethics in its genuine form, or whether it's talking about ethics in a blended form that describes, in this case, artificial intelligence and emerging technologies. Don't worry, we'll explain all the big terms in just a bit. But first we need to define ethics. Then we'll move into the others, uh, other subjects of ethics and artificial intelligence. Yes, there's a lot of ground to cover, and hopefully, by the time this is over, uh, you and I will be more knowledgeable about, the eth about ethics in a world that seems to be changing rapidly each day. To define ethics, I will start out with our textbook, Ethics and Technology, on the third page, written by George Reynolds, which states, Ethics is a set of beliefs about right and wrong behavior within a society. Ethical behavior conforms to gen generally accepted norms, many of which are almost universal. Although nearly everyone would agree that lying and cheating are unethical, opinions about what constitutes ethical behavior can vary dramatically. That definition to me seems to be short and vague, but it does point us in the right direction uh, for ethics. Let's think about that for a moment. Ethics, a set of beliefs about right or wrong um, and, and wrong behavior within our society. The, Ameri the American society may differ from that of the Chinese, the Russian, or the English, or the Swedes, and vice versa. Or let us bring um, the topic that most of us computer technological geeks will understand. How do people see ethics. Who should define ethics and why would they define it the way they do? It is crucial for one to know what ethics is and how it can be a foundational tool for other ethics I mentioned previously, artificial intelligence and emerging technologies. To me, maybe I'm being naive here and maybe a little redundant, but while I've talked about um, what I think ethics is, I'm going to try to venture into a land a world or a realm, whatever you would like to call it, but I'm going to call that artificial intelligence, or some may call it, and I'm going to refer to it as AI. Imagine a world where artificial intelligence was discovered in a way similar to a robot uh, starring Will Smith, where the robots uh, that is able to carry out, they were able to carry out daily functions, the same as hum human beings would carry out, on, carry out on a normal day, some may scoff at the idea of living in such a world, but let me tell you, the technology is almost there and researchers are in high gear to be the first ones to uh, capture such technology and use it. Some for good and others, I'm sure, um, would like to gain wealth and lots of power from making such technology. Let's face it, there's nothing more powerful than utilizing the brain and all its knowledge that it contains. But utilizing it in a way that would put out the power and output of, let's say, a supercomputer that the NSA uses to monitor our communication. They just heard that, didn't they? I'm sure I'll get a phone call soon. An interesting article by William Ramsey and Keith uh, Frankish um, from the uh, Cambridge University Press of 2011. Um, called the Draft of Cambridge Handbook of Artificial Intelligence. Let me read to you uh, the first couple of paragraphs, and uh, you and I will see what I'm talking about when it comes to uh, the creation and the quest to perfection of artificial intelligence. It's almost like it's in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom or the Search of the Holy Grail. Mind you, this article was written in 2011, three years in the rears, um, who knows how much closer the artificial intelligent folks are today. Listen in on this. 
The possibility of creating thinking machines raises a host of ethical issues. These questions relate both to ensuring that such machines do not harm humans and others morally. Relevant beings and to the moral status of the machines themselves. The first section uh, discusses issues that may arise in the near future of artificial intelligence. The second section outlines challenges for ensuring that AI operates safely as it approaches humans and its intelligence. The third section outlines how we might, uh, might assess whether and uh, in what circumstances artificial intelligence themselves have moral status. In the fourth section, we consider how AIs might differ from humans in certain basic respects relevant to our ethical assessment of them. The final section addresses the issues of creating AIs more intelligent than humans and ensuring that they use their advanced intelligence for good rather than evil. Imagine in the near future, a bank using machine uh, learning, uh, you, uh, learning an algorithm to, uh, to recommend uh, mortgage applications uh, for approval. A rejected applicant brings a lawsuit against the bank, alleging that the algorithm is discriminating racially against mortgage applicants. The bank replies, uh, you know, that's impossible since the algorithm is deliberately blinded to the race of the applicants. Indeed, that was part of the bank's uh, rationale for implementing the system. Even so, statistics show that the bank's approval rate for black applicants has been steadily dropping, submitting 10 apparently equally qualified genuine applicants as determined by the separate panel of human judges, shows that the algorithm accepts white applicants and rejects black applicants. What could possibly happen? Finding an answer may not be easy. If the machine learning algorithm is based on a complicated neural network or a genetic algorithm produced by directed evolution, then it may, nearly, uh, may prove nearly impossible to understand why or even how the algorithm is judging applicants based on the race. On the other hand, a machine learner based on decision trees is much more transparent, which may enable an auditor to discover that the AI algorithm uses the address information of applicants who were born or previously resided in predominantly poverty-stricken areas. Still with me? Here's something that may interest you. Google, the world's online mega giant, yes, the one that's developed uh, uh, algorithms to conquer the search engine market. Um, you know the phrase um, information technology uh, junkies uh, use when asked an IT question, especially me. Google is your friend. According to the article, Google's new artificial intelligence ethics board might save humanity from extinction. That was posted January 29th of 2014, just a month ago, by Bianca Bosker. She states that uh, Google's acquisition of DeepMind came with an estimated $400 million price tag and an unusual stipulation that adds extra gravity and a dose of reality to Legs' warning. Google agreed to uh, create uh, an AI safety and ethics review board to ensure this technology is developed safely as the information first reported and the, uh, and the Huffington Post confirmed this. A Google spokesman said that DeepMind had been acquired but declined to comment further. This is where I want to um, bring my main focus to in this discussion. Although I'm uh, toward the end of the, the talk and I think it's important uh, to focus on the who at Google is setting up the ethics board uh, for the AIs. The article mentioned earlier from Bosker and it goes on to state, even, I quote now, even for a company that predictably pursues unpredictable projects, an AI ethics board marks a surprising first for Google. 
and has some people questioning why Google is so concerned with the morality of this technology as opposed to, say, the ethics of reading your email. Did you catch that? Why is Google concerned with coming up with an ethics board on the morality of this technology? The article mentions another step that should alarm people. Quote, reading your email may be abhorrent, but AI, according to Legg and sober minds at the, the University of Cambridge, could pose no less than an extinction level threat to, quote, our species as a whole, end quote. Wow, that's quite sobering, isn't it? I'm among the top when it comes to, uh, top of the list when it comes to uh, new and emerging technologies, such as artificial intelligence, and I'm not opposed to the new technologies. However, I am concerned what technology may, one day, that it may come back to bite us. I've watched um, many of the sci-fi movies that uh, portray artificial intelligence machines coming to uh, life and having mind of their own. I can remember uh, one of my all-time favorites is the, the movie Short Circuit. Um, as you remember, a robot was struck by lightning and came to life. He was eager to learn about everything that he put his hands on. Yes, Johnny Five alive. He was a good robot. Imagine with his weaponry, if he would have been the bad Johnny Five. Could we in the human race be facing machines that could look, act, and talk like us? What if they turn against us? Is there an automatic kill switch that will disable all of them at one time? A lot of questions remain unanswered in this venture of exploring new technology. So this brings me back to the, uh, to the question. Who determines the ethics, whether it involves your work, how you surf the web at work, your social media at work, or home, or while on the go on your smartphone. When I started out, I mentioned uh, that ethics according to the textbook I used in this class, Cyber Ethics, Ethics and Cyber Security, excuse me, is ethics is a set of beliefs about right or wrong behavior within a society. This is important because, as mentioned earlier, who determines what is right and wrong within a society? Yes, I think most, if not all, will say killing and stealing and cheating are by far a part of most society's moral codes of being wrong. My point is this, when it comes to artificial intelligence, how did Google go about uh, setting up their ethics board? Did they put a theologian, a philosopher, uh, a scientist, an inventor, an engineer, or all the above? Who is to determine how they set up the board, and if that's correct other than Google? Ethics to me is more than just a right or wrong decision. It is more like, it is more about taking ethics to the next step of integrity and good character. Anyone can keep the rules on the outside appearance, but what makes us tick on the inside determines who we really are. Has our society become like uh, the two lawyers who were negotiating a case? Look, one said to the other, let's be honest with each other. Okay, you, were, you first, replied the other. End of discussion. Surely our society can do better than this. If our society can't do better, then how can we expect the artificial intelligence that may just be around the corner be any better? I encourage each of you listening or watching to take full advantage of researching on your own and find out what ethics means to you and how would you like to be a part of the next new artificial intelligence ethics board and make a difference? Thank you for your time, and have a good evening.